All right. Um, the last class. This was the measurement we used for the front. You can see we have drafted it. And look at how it looks like. Look at how it looks like the front. Do you get? Okay. Now we'll be cutting the back without wasting much time. The, where the work was was in the front. So now what we'll do is this. I'm just going to be taking a fresh paper. I'm going to be taking a fresh paper. We have cut the front. I'm just fold it into two. Fold our paper for the back into two. Just like this. We place our front to this place. Just like this. Just like this. Make sure that it's the same. Hmm? Hope you get. Make sure it's what? The same. Then we'll just make we we'll just add a uh, make sure that there's one and a half inch for the zipper. We'll add our zipper. We'll be needing one and a half inch. Look at it, one and a half. It's not up to. So I will increase my paper. I'll increase my paper. That is for the zipper allowance. So now I'll check it again. This is what one and a half inches. One and a half inches. So I'll make I'll, I'll just mark it so that it will be straight. Just follow me. I'll mark it here. I'll mark it here. And I'll mark it at C2. So, here. Then I place my bag on it directly. Pay it. Make sure that this paper is what? Staying well. The paper is shifting. So make sure that I put my front on those marks one and a half inches for the zipper. Take it. So now, just what I'm going to do is this. The difference between the back and the front is the neckline. So I'll just come down here. Where the borderline is. Where the borderline is here. So I'll just you know, extend my borderline here. Just watch what I'm doing. Get this borderline for the front, extend it. Then from this borderline, we're just going to come down one inch. We're just going to come down what? One inch. Watch. Just connect my hand. Make sure that um, it's on track. So I'm just to take my French call and do my line. Are you getting it? So for we for us to we'll still put our one and a half inch here so that we know where we are stopping. Get this my line is not this my curve is not going well. So I'm going to redo it. So for me to do that, so what I'll do is I'll just mark this up and just put the top point to make sure it's there so that I don't have to stress it again. Just watch closely and get it. What I did was this line, this line here, I just replicated it to this place. So I was able to do my curve. Just watch closely. If you don't want to replicate it, you can measure what you use here. On this place, make sure you do your one and a half first for the zipper before you start your the width of your front. And just replicate your width here. Let's quickly check what we did here. 
think we used four. Yeah, we used four inches. So it's four inches right there. So now I've done that. So my I'm going to be putting my allowance for the neckline. Perfect. It's half inch. So you just measure from up from this from this line here, just go up half. Go up half. Go up half. Like that, like that, you get this space. Get. So now I'm going to join my dotted line. It's good. So that's so how it looks like. Then I'm just going to place this here. One and a half. If you have a pin, an office pin, and just use it to hold it down. Mine is not handy. I would have used it to pin it down. Now I'm just going to trace out. Watch as I cut this. Just follow me. This is what I did. The one and a half for the zipper it went all through up to the neckline. You can see to the neckline there. But this side is going to be the same, the back is the same with the front. So I'm just going to trace it out. But instead of dragging it out, then you get it. Everything I'm doing is unfolded paper. Same way you do unfolded fabric too. Are you getting it? So I go straight. You can see what I did. I didn't stop here. I go straight then. For the zipper allowance, I'm going to be cutting it open here. I cut it open here like this. You can see what I'm doing. I cut it open here. I cut it open. Then this line here, this uh, one and a half that I've done here, I'm going to be notching it. I will show you what notching is. This place here, I'm going to be notching it. So this is it. I just go like this. I will not cheat here too. Not, not in the front, of, just the back only. I will not. Have you seen it? Have you seen it? It looks like a notch. Okay. Now you can see, if you check the back of your dress, you see that they do join, they do put zip on this place, these two places. So I'll be placing my zip on this notched part, go on this notch part and so join it together. Then this front, I'll be joining my front and my back together. So we've not done with that one yet. So now the next thing we are going to do, we are going to be cutting out the basin for neat finishing. We need to make a basin for it. Most of you use bias, but bias is not neat. It's not normally, it's not always neat. Basin is best. Especially if you are using it for you. It's all clothes. Just use your patient if you have enough fabric, but you know if you have limited fabric, fine. You can use your wire. But the best to use is patient. So I'm going to be folding just the same way. Place, I'll place 
the front on it just like this then you can see I just I don't want to use paper <laughs> so we don't use it I don't want to use paper here so now the facing should be like three inches facing should be like three inches downwards on this part are you seeing it again three inches downwards then the facing on this side should not get to the ammo it should stop like one inch or half inch before the ammo you can see that there is half inch here for joining so it will not even get up to this place we stop somewhere here you just see what i'm trying to do like three inches you can see just that just it's just perfect so now i'm just going to trace it out you can see what that is folded that's what i'm going to do So I'm not staying properly. So then I'll determine whether I want it to be square or round. You see that you leave it like this, so you just from here, just here, you do your call. Are you see what I'm doing? So I prefer doing pop. I don't like that. So this is how it is. So when I'm done, I'll tell you what I'm trying to do. So this is it. This is it. So now when I want to sew, place this here. Place this on this. Are you saying it? On, from, on the front, on the right side of the cloth, not on the wrong side. These are facing on the right side of the cloth. So just sew on that half inch that we added when we are cutting out. Just sew like this. Then we turn to the wrong side. So that's the facing for the front. Then for the back, For the back, you see, fold too. So we fold it for the front, you see, fold. Yes. Part of the back is going to be longer because you know, it's far, allowance for this back. Yes. This is what I do not look like. So you see. So you get. Please, I think I would advise you to use pins so you can so that you don't have issues. I would advise you to use pins. Get yes. Sorry, my scene is shifting. I don't know what's going on. So Placed it, so I'm just going to trace. It's going like traced out. Yes, one, two. Shouldn't get to the arm first. Even because the one you are fixing your skin. While you are doing that, that's why you are fixing your skin. You don't have to stop me to get. So I just place this one here. I can just use one. So I won't have to stop. I just place it like this. Get three inches. Then we're going to trace out the neckline. And see what I'm doing. Remember, I folded it into two. Three inches. Okay, three inches. So, moved while I was. I'm going to go down with yourself and how you want it to look like. So, we're going to do a curve. A curve. Then, for that of the front, you see that for that of the front, for that of the front, you can see that I did not cut 
I did not cut it open for that of the back of I cut it open into two. I'll be sharing this into like this. Get so that I'll place one on this side, on the right side. I'll place it like this. And so on half inch. And so on half inch. So that's it. So just place like this. And so on half inch. So on half inch like this and turn to the wrong side. So that's it. So we'll be getting down to work. Like I said, before I forget. Sorry, we are supposed to notch our front and back the, the waist and the heat. Very, very important. Very, very what? Important. We will notch. We will notch. So, sorry, that's what I would have, would have done it first before bringing it out. So, I notch. A notch. You can see the notch waist on the waist region. On the hip region, when you are doing a, a, a this thing, when you are doing a, a gown, you still notch for that of the waist. So you get. So now for the waist, you can see I've notched it. So now we are going to be quickly getting our needle and thread to continue sorry let me get my needle and thread sorry let me pause it so now i've threaded my needle First thing we are going to be doing, we are going to be putting our facing, our facing. Let's start with the back first. So, like I said, this you know when you are when you are drafting on the cloth, you, you mark at the back. So this is the back. Let's assume this is the back. So this is the front now. So on that half inch, I'll just be clean so. So let me do that like this. And go to the half as possible. And not be that perfect so you can understand what I'm trying to say. We all know how to stitch now with needle and thread. So, <laughs> our home economy is that we dig in school. That's it. I'm um, breaking the transmission. So, my stitches are not straight because I'm trying to be in a hurry. Okay. So, this is it. Look, I've done it. Look at it. I've done it. So now I'm going to be pointing like this. Look, I see what I'm just trying to say. Say my sticks are too big. Oh God. So we just want to see it. Can see it. For the neckline. Try to be neat. Try to be what? Neat. Can see it. Get it. Easy. It. Take and see it on the wrong side already. So now cut this one off. 
so that continues the the first thing you do after cutting your back and front is to do your to, to cut your you cut after cutting your face in you do what you put your face in first your face in first before the shoulder before you join your shoulder so my stitches are so so good just imagine the fan Bear with me. <laughs> my stitches are very good with the phone. Let's let's rock it, man. <laughs> I'm gonna rock it like this. For paper sake. Yeah. the other one part of the the other back just you see sorry and um, when you're doing on fabric you are going to be notching just notch try to bend the notch notch very close to your stitches, very very close to your stitches, but not on your stitches. Mm -hmm. So we notch like this. See the chain now. So I'll just have to tie it. I think I want to clean the first one. So let's get the notches. So when it is done, you can. So that the thing will relax. When you notch it, it will relax. You get your it will relax. You can see I've done that of the back. Alright. You know we've uh, done the facing for the back. So look at it. I I sewed it on the right side. And I turned it to the wrong side for the front and the back. You can see the back. So my zip will be here. Get. Yeah, it will be sewn from the back on the wrong side. Sorry. Then the facing was I sewed it on the right side, turned it to the from the right side, turned it to the wrong side. See it. So now the next thing I'm going to be doing, I'm going to be joining my shoulders. So now, you place your right side. You place your right side. You can see what I'm doing. I place my right side on each other. You can see this is the right side. This is the right side, and this is the right side. So place all the right sides on each other. So now I will go like this. Just watch. This is my. Okay, so now you can see it's the, right, the right side. So I'll go like this. Mm -hmm. The two shoulders for each of the for the front and back. You can see they're together. Then the facing, I'm going to turn. I'm going to place the two facing. See what I'm doing? I'm going to place the two facing. So in this one is already moving on. Let me put it tight. The room. Sorry for the. I didn't tie it before, so it's going to give us issues. One soon. So now I've done that. So now you can see what I did. Right side to right side. The shoulder, place it on each other. Do like this. Hmm? What's going on? It's, so I think we tied it where I'm still shifting. Okay. 
all right it has been tied so now look at what i did shoulder to shoulder facing to facing so i'm going to turn the facing like this are you seeing then i'll sew on my one inch that i left Okay, so this is it. So I told you how you turn it, turn it like this, just on each other. So now I'm going to sew. And choose to start from anywhere for the back or the front. We may have to start from the front from here. I've done that. I finished sewing it. You can see? I'm done with sewing. See? So now I'm going to turn it. You can see? Take the back one like this and turn it to the front. So this is how it looks like. Aim is to cover up the facing so that it doesn't soak. Mm -hmm. I see what I did. See what I did. So now let me do it again on the other side so that you can get what I'm saying. So now this is the right side. That is the front. This is the right side. This is the right side of the front. This is the right side of the back. So you place the right side of the front to the right side of the back. Put it like this. See what I'm doing. Bring out the facing. Bring out this one's facing. Place it like this. Hold the facings together. Hmm? The two neck line together. The two faces together. Eh? You place. You now turn it to the two facing. Place it on this side. On one side. See what I'm saying. This is it. Okay. This is it. Are you getting it? This is it. Hmm? This is what I'm trying to do. See it shoulder to shoulder, facing to facing. Are you seeing it? Hmm? Move your facing backward like this. Are you getting me? Hmm? Place your facing like this. Hmm? Then I start sewing on one inch. Are you getting me? Yeah, I know you are getting it. Okay, I'm done with sewing this. So now I'm going to turn it. Take this back. You can see what I'm doing. Turn it to the side. This is paper, so it's not going to be as fine as it is. You have this bit. Okay, you can see. This is my facing for the back. The front for the other back. You can see. You can see. So now I'm going to be flipping um, wrong uh, right side to right side again. So that we can join the sides. Mm -hmm. Oh, first of all, we are going to put the zip. Let's put the zip first. All right, I've got my zip. For beginners, you don't use open and close. This is an open and close zip. You can see it. You don't use, you use old school. But this is what I have on brown. So I'll be using this. But for you, you don't use it. It's don't use uh, open and close. Right now, I want to put some zip. 